What's going on guys? Today I'm going to run down to the park on the old V8 and do a couple of different agility tests. We'll uh, try and stay in one spot, we'll hit some slaloms, I'll uh, kind of walk you through what I do as practice uh, for stability. That's something that I really think riders take for granted. Everybody wants to go fast, right? Fast is fun, but you really need to be able to control the wheel uh, in finite movements and to really have total control of what you're doing to feel safe. So today I'm going to show you some of the things that I do um, in my spare time just as practice essentially to try and get better at riding. All right, see you at the park. Alright guys, here we are at the park. We're going to do a couple of different just little agility things. We're going to start with turning. So, find yourself a nice circle or set up something circular to practice on and practice just going around it in both directions. Once you get comfortable with finding out where your pedal scrape is and you can really feel comfortable going both ways on the wheel, that's important. I know when I first started, it was way harder for me to go left than it was for me to go right. I just, I naturally was able to bring my body into it, whereas going left was tough, but you learn. All right, now that you're a little bit more comfortable with turning, we're gonna do some slaloms. This is gonna get you ready to turn both directions at the same time, back and forth. Really train your mind how to get control of that wheel. Watch how I really carve. Next, we're gonna work on stop and goes, both dismounting and without dismounting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right up to this line, we're gonna dismount, and we're gonna continue. Nice and simple, it's just a practice to stop at an intersection, look both ways, and then continue onward with confidence. Thank you. 
Now being able to stand almost in place on the wheel really has its benefits. You're gonna be able to control yourself a lot better coming around corners, just in general around people. You're gonna feel a lot safer. Now everybody wants to go fast, but nobody wants to go slow. opinion being able to go really slow is really really important to becoming a great rider. That brings us to our next exercise. Stay in the box. So what this drill is gonna do is really teach you how to make body turns. Not necessarily turning with the pedal, but turning the whole machine with your body. Um, it's gonna be important at some point in your riding life to make a really sharp turn, and this is gonna help you with that. Make sure you're practicing going both directions with that. For me, it's a lot harder to do left. You just don't have as much control. And don't get discouraged. If any of these drills are a little too difficult for you, maybe your wheel is a bigger wheel than this one. Remember, this is a V8. This is one of the most agile, a great acceleration on it. It's really meant to do little agility tricks like this. So if you have a bigger wheel, you might need to make a bigger box, a bigger circle, more distance between the slaloms, whatever it is you have to do. But I think it's really important to know the limitations, not only of the top end of your vehicle, how fast it can go. But I think it's really important to understand your limitations in turning. I really think that a lot of intermediate riders, someone who, yeah, sure, you can get on the wheel and you can go, but can you really control it? And I think if you're gonna be pushing 30 miles an hour on any of these wheels, having total control of the wheel before you do that, it's gonna be really important. Now, all of these drills are just gonna make you way more confident, leaning into turns, hammering that acceleration, and just general riding is just gonna be a better experience for you. So if you haven't practiced any agility yet, I suggest get setting yourself up some markers and just go out with your wheel, just right in your driveway, wherever you have to go, and just work on your turning. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something from this video. That's gonna be it for this one. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a V11 talk soon about all the amazing things that are happening, the good, the bad, and unfortunately the ugly. But uh, I'm still optimistic. We'll see, we'll talk about it, all right? Let me That's all for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you saw and you wanna see more. I hope you took something from today and it makes you a better rider. All right, until the next one, ride safe.